So we've heard, I don't know if some of you have heard the news, but concerning about Jeffrey Epstein, concerning his sex trafficking case, and then there are some conspiracies out there where it's con connecting it to the elites. And then the elites in our world, this is actually not even a secret. So even without going to specific elites, the general populace can agree that there are some powerful people up there who have some kind of secret sex trafficking stuff going on. Especially at Hollywood, it's not really a secret. You notice ever since the incident with Harvey and et cetera, all these people start to come out with these uh, sexual harassment stuff, sexual cases going on within Hollywood. And then the celebrities, they talk as if this has been going on for years. So this is not a secret concerning about sex trafficking and then the pedophilia going on. Now, here are some interesting things that I've noticed concerning this case. Is that Satan, he does want to attack little children. That has always been his focus. For example, why did he like to attack Adam and Eve? Because they were in that stage of innocence. And if you know little children and babies, they are at that age of innocence. So Satan, he does want to attack the little children. You'll notice Pharaoh, who is a type of the Antichrist, he told Moses and the children of Israel, you can go make your sacrifices in Egypt, but leave your children here. You'll notice that when sacrifices were made to false gods, the Bible mentioned that they went as so far as to sacrifice their own children. So children has been a wicked, strange infatuation of Satan. Now concerning the elites, concerning their sex traffic, Hollywood and Epstein, what's very interesting is that this can go all the way through the Clintons. <clears throat> so whoever Clinton is fellowshipping with or who he has connections with, there are a lot of conspiracies out there concerning about uh, Hillary and Bill, <clears throat> concerning their sleazy deals. That's why Dr. Upton called him Slick Willie. <laughs> Slick Willie Clinton. But their sleazy deals as well as sexual things going on, which is very disturbing. And then what's really interesting about Epstein's case is that the news reported that it was a suicide. But then when you read these reports concerning his suicide, it's like his lawyer and other people were like shocked to hear about it. Why would they be shocked to hear about it if Epstein didn't have that kind of suicidal thought for a long time? So it may be something more strange than you think. Could it be that through connections with Clintons that they uh, faked it out as a suicide and then they had to kill him because it would expose a bigger ring out there? I don't know. But I'll tell you what is that when you hear all this stuff about the news cases, it should not be a surprise that there are elites out there who have some kind of pedophilia ring or sex trafficking going on. And this connects to Hollywood and this connects to rich, powerful people and children. Now I'm going to show you something interesting at the book of Joel. Joel chapter 3. This is inevitable for the last days. You might say, really? Yes, didn't you know that in the tribulation, that the Antichrist system, that they will be aiming for little children and then using them for sexual purposes, for sex, for sex slaves? You might say, really? I never read that in the Bible. Well, you just haven't been reading your Bible. That's what's been going on. <clears throat> You've just been going to your churches, learning little ditty devotionals, <clears throat> saying Jesus loves you. And this kind of topic is actually, oh, my goodness, no. So let's look at Joel. Now look at chapter 3, verse 1. What will happen in the last days? For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem... So the context is future, and notice it's connected with the restoration of Israel. So this is a future time period. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Well, that's no doubt. That's Armageddon. So this is a tribulation context. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. 
whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Now look at this. What do these wicked antichrist nations do? And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Now look at this. So notice right here that they're doing merchandise here of slaves and this consists of children. So if this is going on in the tribulation, don't be surprised this thing is going on right now so that it can make full way, full preparation for the real thing. So there has to be precursors, little instances of this happening, and then you'll get the full swing at the tribulation. Now, here's a theory of mine, but I think it's going to be more of a fact, which I'm sure some researchers can agree with me on. This is what I find interesting. What I find interesting concerning this passage is that this is connected. Who are the children caught in the sex trafficking? Is that it's more particularly the Jews. Now, I know that it can be all sorts of different nationality, but notice that Jews are mentioned here. What is very interesting is that it was in Hollywood that sexual scandals started to come out publicly. Now, who consists most in Hollywood's actually? It's Jews, and here's another interesting thing, homosexuals. Jews and homosexuals consist of this. Now, if you looked at this incident with Harvey concerning about the sex scandals, you'll soon lead down toward a trail where you see pedophilia involved in this. It's the homosexual that leads to pedophilia with Kevin Spacey and all those other guys. Now... This is what's very interesting to me. What's very interesting to me, how this pic reflects Joel chapter 3, is this particular group of people. And I have a, uh, I won't name the person, but I know of a Bible believer or a few Bible believers who acted out in Hollywood. And you know what they said? When you act out in a play that they will make the first timers who are of the same sex, kiss each other and do a sex scene together. That's what they will make, that's what they will do. And then the actors and actresses, because they want to be famous, yeah. and because, look, if you're going to be an actor or actress, it's very hard. Yeah. It's very hard. Some of them had to end up waiting tables and sleeping on benches and eventually hit fame. So you, you will do whatever it takes. You will sell your body to become that. But here's something interesting, is that the Bible-believing actor told me that you know, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, and all those guys, they're owned, they're bought. That's right. And that's not a secret for some people who study Hollywood. They're bought. A lot of these famous actors and actresses, what ethnicity are they? Jews. There's a good number of them are Jews. Could it be that these elites right here put them as part of their pedophilia ring, and then they hit fame? I think that would make a lot more sense. It would make a lot more sense with all these connections going on. But that's something interesting. But let's look at Revelation 18. Revelation 18. Now let's look at Revelation chapter 18. The Clintons, very powerful people. And it's very interesting when you study a lot of people who tried to expose the Clintons or were connected to Clintons. They had these kind of accidental deaths going on, which is very interesting. But Clinton is just a small fry, you gotta understand. Yeah, yeah. There's a higher, there's a higher plane of the elites up there. Oh, yeah. And we can go on, but I'll name you one of them, which is mentioned at Revelation 18. It's the Vatican. Yeah. Is it a strange fiction then that there's a lot of pedophilia cases going on in uh, oh, yeah. with the priests and all that? Yeah. There's something weird going on. Why is there commonality with, with this? Why is there commonality? Unless birds of a feather flock together. But the Bible tells you this is the case. <clears throat> Look at Revelation 18. Revelation 18, verse 1. Uh, verse 2 is about Babylon, right? Which we know is Rome. Amen? Amen? Yeah, we know that's Rome. That's the Roman Catholic Church. Now look at this. Look at verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Ah, so then Clintons and other kings of the earth, 
They bewail over Rome's destruction. Why? Because Rome is responsible for this. Look at verse 13. So they be, uh, well, let's start off at verse 1. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. There's this buying and selling going on. And this will include sex slaves, because look at this. Look at verse 13. And cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and what? Slaves. slaves. And it's not just slaves, but their own what? Souls and souls of men. And the fruits that thy soul, what? Lusted after are departed from thee. That's why God is mad at Babylon. He's going to burn it to the ground because the, the wickedness is much deeper than you think. And God will burn her to the ground. Cross this bunch right here. You'd better be careful. But when you cross this, this one right here, which the Antichrist will come from, you better watch out. 